Right now, push her on the floor. And you draw the dagger from the top of your stocking. And you come for me. Go on, come for me. Ah, oh, it's no good. Are you going to start again? What do you mean it's no good? You've got to come for me like you really mean it. Oh, I mean it all right. Now, try again. Get on the floor. Now, come for me. Just a moment. Let me get it back again. All right. Two men attacking a hen seal with a knife. No. For this kind of moment, you will get two years in the glass house. No, you don't understand. I'm just rehearsing a number. It's not a real knife. Look. You. Oh! Get from his hand! Move his hand! Move his hand! You! Stand from your knees! Go! Show! Right, lovely boys. Let's have a look at you. Disgusting! Never have I seen such a display of blatant puffery. <laughs> Never in all my life! But the Colonel did give us permission to hold a dress rehearsal, Sergeant Major. A dress rehearsal, Sergeant Major? <laughs> May I ask what it is you is rehearsing? Yes, Sergeant Major, we're rehearsing. Shut up! <laughs> Colonel Sugden, you will tell me all about it. It's a French cuff scene, Sergeant Major. <laughs> it's called A Night in Montmartre. It's all about low life in Paris. Well, they couldn't get much lower than you, could they? <laughs> what are you two supposed to be? We're a pair of French streetwalkers. <laughs> and you? We're a pash dancers. <laughs> yes. We're two hopeless victims of the underground. You mean you've been run over by a tube? <laughs> oh, no, you don't understand. Shut up! During my 21 years as a regular soldier, I've seen terrible things, things to turn a man's hair white, but I have never seen anything like you. <laughs> <laughs> Colonel Parkins, you're the only man amongst you. Even if he is dressed up as a froggy copper. <laughs> Stop straight, boy. You've got a fine pair of shoulders there. <laughs> Show them off. Right, on a command move, I want you to get all the books you was reading at the moment and put them on that chart point now. Move! No, oh, what was that? What was that? The Colonel has asked me to conduct a survey as to the state of your mind. Colonel Graham. Yes, Sergeant Major. What is the state of your mind? Stagnating, Sergeant Major. Stagnating, Sergeant Major. You. Useless by James Joyce. <laughs> Whose is this? It's mine, Sergeant Major. Useless just about sums you up. <laughs> Actually, it's Ulysses by James Joyce. I mean. <laughs> it concerns the peregrinations of an apostate theological... I know what it's all about! <laughs> Ulysses. <laughs> he was a character in Greek Min, uh, Miss... Uh, well, I'm glad somebody's reading the classics. <laughs> Good year. The Adventures of Erotic Edna. <laughs> Who's is this? That's mine, Sergeant Major. <laughs> the awful disclosure was of Mariah Monk. Whose is this, might I ask? Mine, Sergeant Major. <laughs> Winnie the Pooh. I'm reading that, Sergeant Major. <laughs> you filthy little devil. <laughs> It is quite clear to me from your reading material that your minds are full of lustful and lewd thought. Now, British soldiers in India have had this problem for years, and you've got three choices. Violent exercise, cold showers, or find a bit. <laughs> you cannot have cold showers because of the water shortage. And you cannot find a bit because there's nothing around you. <laughs> and if there was, they would not have nothing to do with you because you are a bunch of fuss. <laughs> So, that leaves us with violent exercise. <laughs> you can double around the camp six times. But, 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 but we can't go out like this in our show clothes. E everybody would laugh at us, Sergeant Major. Shut up. <laughs> what more could you want? Be a great advertisement for the show. Squad, now! Right turn! Right wheel at the double move! 
Google. I'll tell you about Abby's salacious thoughts. Better. 